Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I thought I'd quickly jump on and uh, talk about Starlink. Now I've arrived at Carter School a little bit early so it gives me 10 minutes to do a little video for you guys. For those of you that don't know, Starlink is one of Elon Musk's companies uh, and what it enables you to do is have internet in places that generally you couldn't get internet. You could be in the middle of the Sahara Desert and be able to get proper Wi-Fi. And when I say proper, I mean very, very fast. Now, we live in the middle of nowhere, so for us it's really important to have a fast internet connection, especially when you've got a presence on YouTube. You obviously need to upload videos, and when you're streaming live, you need to have a good internet and stable connection. When we moved to Spain for the first two or three years, in fact, it was over three years, it was nearly four years, we had massive problems. The best we could get, we had different internet companies coming in, because we live in the middle of nowhere, we had different companies coming in trying to give us the best type of Wi-Fi that we could possibly get. But we was limited. We've got no fiber optic where we are. We've got very, very limited signal. We're in the middle of mountains, so it really affects any signal that you could possibly get. So what we ended up doing, um, we ended up having a company come in. Originally, we was getting 15, that's one five, megabytes per second which is okay if you're just watching a little bit of youtube in sort of standard definition but as soon as you start increasing that and you want to start streaming or you want to run multiple um multiple devices on one internet it just wasn't up to scratch eventually we paid a little bit extra and got it up to 20 megabytes a second that was good enough for watching a few movies. You could watch Netflix on that. You could watch YouTube quite comfortably. And you could probably get it on two devices. But if ever you were streaming on a live stream, that like I was always going on live streams with Paul Falk talking about watches before we went on to the political stuff, talking about watches, and I, it absolutely lagged terribly. So what I used to have to do, before I had Starlink installed, I used to have to go and drive to one of the restaurants, which gave me about 55 megabytes per second. Since then, we've had Starlink. So basically, the company's owned by Elon Musk. You order the kit online, everything's online, it gets delivered to you, and it is pretty much plug in and play. Tells you what to do, tells you the app to download. Really, really easy. I found it very, very easy to install. Now, I've had Starlink now for coming on to a year, literally about a year, and I thought I'd share, if anyone out there has got any serious problems with internet speed wherever you live it doesn't really matter as i say we live in the middle of nowhere if you've got <coughs> excuse me i've still got my cold if you've got problems with lagging and stuff like that you can do a speed test and on the speed test as long as you've got um you know anything above 40 mega megabytes per second MP, uh, mbs then that's not too uh not too bad with starlink where i am i get 20 megabytes per per second with my standard internet connection which I have still got so I'm actually paying for two lots of internet but with Starlink I'm getting anything from 300 to 400 megabytes per second which is better than fiber optic well pretty much better than fiber optic I believe you can get one megabyte in some places but for me to go from 20 megabytes a second that's really really limiting me for everything that I was doing to the best part of 350, let's average it out, 350 megabytes a second is, is amazing. So if you've got a, a motor home or if you've got um, a boat or if you travel a lot and you do camping and stuff like that, if you want to, I mean, they do do different systems to what I've got, but basically you can, um, you can buy the Starlink kit. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was something like 300 euros for me to buy the kit. Now for that, you get your router, which is waterproof, so you can have the router outside, although mine is inside, and you get the dish. And basically the dish uh, you put in the back garden, you check the area for obstructions on your application that you get. As long as there's no obstructions, you plug it all in, and the dish moves around and finds the best um, satellite link that it can find. It's changed our life, to be fair. I couldn't be doing this YouTube video well, with its YouTube channel without, um, without Starlink now, or I'd have to move pretty much, or I'd have to do all of the uploading and all of the live streams at one of the restaurants that we've got. 
So it has changed the way we do things. I mean, for me to upload a 10 minute video for argument's sake with uh, the old system used to take me the best part of four or five, six hours to upload it. Then obviously you, you have to you know, put all your, you know, your, your titles on there and everything else. With Starlink, it literally takes me minutes, a few minutes. If you're uploading in 4K, obviously it takes a little bit longer. But for anyone out there that is struggling for internet connection or bad buffering, if you live in the middle of nowhere, or if you're out in the sticks, or you've got, like I say, a boat, or uh, you know you go camping quite a lot, Starlink is your way forward. You pretty much put the dish outside. As long as it's got an unobstructed view of the sky, you pretty much can, can get decent signal. I would say probably the worst I've ever got with Starlink is about 150 meg. So it has, it has changed things. Now, I've just ordered a bracket because obviously we've had the, the house painted and things like that. So I've just ordered a bracket that can go on the side of our house. Um, once that's up, it will lift it up off of the ground. It'll be a standard. Uh, it will probably stay on the same star, I would think, at the, at, the, at the time once it links up. And hopefully it will give us unobstructed views of the, um, of the sky. And as long as it's done that, we're away. Um, the router can go anywhere, outside or inside, um, and then you can buy extensions for it, things like mesh. So we've got a reasonable size house and it's all brick construction. So we haven't got, you know, the dot and tape, is it? Um, walls, as is all solid brick. So uh, getting signal from downstairs to upstairs can be a bit of a challenge. So I've just bought a, se a separate mesh, they call it which gives me signal throughout the entire house and that can be moved around. So now I am probably gonna get rid of our standard internet connection that we've already had since we got here. If I can just cancel that off, which will end up saving me 30 euros a month. Now for Starlink, I pay 40 euros a month. Now that's not too bad considering 20 megabytes is costing me 30 euros a month. So I'm gonna be able to save that now. I'll get rid of the other internet Starlink's 40 euros a month, so it's only 10 euros more than what I was paying anyway, and for the last year I've paid for the two. So it just makes sense really. So anyone out there, I think it's starlink.com, have a little look, you can check your coverage area on the website before you pay for the kit. But all I can say is a year down the line, I wouldn't be doing YouTube, and I certainly wouldn't be doing live streams from home without it. Hope you enjoyed that video guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and as always, if you don't mind clicking the like, comment and any shares that you can do is much appreciated. I'm going to go in now, pick up Carter from school and uh, hopefully take him over the skate park for a little while because it's Friday and uh, we're on the, I think it's about the 3rd or the 4th of October and uh, he's finished school for the week so that's it, go and have a little bit of fun. Speak to you all soon guys, thanks for watching.